Hello, Matt here from chemistrystudent.com. In this video, we're going to look at some basic standard enthalpy changes. We're going to talk about what standard enthalpy changes actually are and look at some specific examples of standard enthalpy changes, including standard enthalpy of reaction, standard enthalpy of combustion, and standard enthalpy of formation. Enthalpy and more advanced enthalpy changes, such as enthalpies of hydration and solution, have been covered in separate videos. Check the links in the description below. Before we talk in detail about standard enthalpies, there are a few essential ideas you need to be comfortable with. Enthalpy is the heat content or thermal energy store of a substance or system. All molecules and substances have thermal energy stored up inside them, as when some of their stored energy is released, it can only flow out in the form of heat. Enthalpy change, delta H, is defined as heat energy change measured at constant pressure. For chemistry, its units are kilojoules per mole. It is basically impossible to know the exact enthalpy of a substance. It is possible, however, to measure how the enthalpy of a substance changes when it reacts. This means in chemistry, we work with enthalpy changes rather than total enthalpy values. Exothermic reactions describe reactions where energy is released overall by the reacting particles making the products formed lower in energy and more stable, but increasing the heat content and temperature of their surroundings. These reactions have a negative enthalpy change as the amount of thermal energy stored up inside the products is less than in the reactants. Endothermic reactions are when energy is absorbed by reacting particles, making the products formed higher in energy and less stable, but decreasing the heat content and temperature of their surroundings. These reactions have a positive enthalpy change as the amount of thermal energy stored up inside the product is more than in the reactants. Recap done, let's go. How the enthalpy of reactants changes during a reaction can be determined by considering the temperature change of a reaction's surroundings. The surroundings just refer to all the particles that are around the reacting particles but aren't actually reacting. In an aqueous reaction, for example, the surroundings would be all the water molecules around the reacting particles. The greater the temperature change of the surroundings, the more energy that has been transferred between the reacting particles and their surroundings, and the greater the enthalpy change of the reaction. The problem here is that enthalpy is based on the heat content of a system, and the heat content changes based on the temperature and pressure of the system. If we are finding enthalpy changes by measuring temperature changes of a reaction's surroundings, we have to make sure the same conditions are being used each time enthalpy change measurements are recorded, to enable comparisons to be made. The conditions used are referred to as standard conditions, and are usually 298 Kelvin and 100 kPa of pressure. All amounts are per mole. You may come across the term standard states. This just means the physical state of a substance when it is at standard conditions. For example, at 298 Kelvin and 100 kPa of pressure, oxygen is a gas and carbon, graphite, is a solid. There are a huge number of different possible reactions in chemistry between an almost infinite number of compounds. Many of these reactions fall into certain categories though, and enthalpy changes for similar types of reactions have specific names. These are referred to as standard enthalpy changes. There are lots of different standard enthalpy changes, and the exact ones you will need to know will be based on your particular specification and course. However, virtually all at this level will expect you to know the following three. Standard enthalpy of reaction, standard enthalpy of combustion, and standard enthalpy of formation. Unsurprisingly, standard enthalpy of reaction refers to the enthalpy change that occurs for any reaction. Remember, enthalpy is given in units per mole, and standard enthalpy changes are always measured under standard conditions, meaning we can define standard enthalpy of reaction as the enthalpy change that occurs when reactants react in the molar, so per mole, quantities given in the equation for the reaction under standard conditions.
For example, if we take the reaction between calcium oxide and water, we can see in the equation that one mole of calcium oxide reacts with one mole of water and forms one mole of calcium hydroxide, CaOH2. The standard enthalpy change for this reaction is minus 63.7 kilojoules per mole. This means that, under standard conditions, when one mole of calcium oxide and one mole of water react together to form one mole of calcium hydroxide, an enthalpy change of minus 63.7 kilojoules occurs. In other words, 63.7 kilojoules of energy is released to the surroundings. Standard enthalpy of combustion is the enthalpy change that occurs when one mole of a substance is completely burnt in oxygen, under standard conditions. The thing students can get caught out with here sometimes is that the molar quantity in the enthalpy change, remember per mole, comes from the moles of substance undergoing combustion. For example, when ethanol, C2H5OH, undergoes combustion, the equation for the reaction clearly shows that for one mole of ethanol, two moles of carbon dioxide and three moles of water are produced. And the one mole of ethanol reacts with three moles of oxygen. The moles of oxygen used and the moles of carbon dioxide and water produced really aren't important though. It's only the moles of ethanol combusting that we are interested in here for the definition. The standard enthalpy of combustion for ethanol is minus 1,367 kilojoules per mole. This means that for every one mole of ethanol that undergoes combustion, under standard conditions, 1,367 kilojoules of energy is released to the surroundings. Combustion reactions are always exothermic, and this means standard enthalpies of combustion are always negative. Standard enthalpy of formation is the enthalpy change that occurs when one mole of a substance is formed from its constituent elements under standard conditions. <laughs> this enthalpy change can sound a little confusing. Constituent elements just means the elements that make up the compound. For example, propane, C3H8, is made up of carbon and hydrogen. If you were to write an equation to show its formation from these elements, it would be carbon plus hydrogen go into propane. If this reaction was carried out under standard conditions, 298 Kelvin and 100 kilopascals, the carbon would be solid and the hydrogen would be a gas, H2. This would mean the equation would be 3C plus 4H2 go into C3H8. The key thing with enthalpies of formation is that they refer to the enthalpy change per mole of substance being formed. The moles of the constituent elements aren't important. The standard enthalpy change for the formation of propane is minus 104.7 kilojoules per mole. This means that for every one mole of propane formed from carbon and hydrogen under standard conditions, 104.7 kilojoules of energy is released. If two moles of propane was formed, 209.4 kilojoules of energy would be released. In reality, trying to get carbon and hydrogen together under standard conditions wouldn't really give propane as a product. Enthalpies of formation can be very hard to measure experimentally and are usually found indirectly using Hess cycles. That is a separate topic for enthalpy, but it's been covered in a separate video. Check the links in the description below. So, to summarise, standard enthalpy changes are used to ensure enthalpy changes can be compared for different reactions, as change in temperature and pressure can affect enthalpy changes measured. A measured enthalpy change can be considered standard if standard conditions are used and reactants are in their standard states. Standard conditions are 298 Kelvin and 100 kilopascals. Standard states are the physical states of substances when they are at standard conditions. There are lots of different types of standard enthalpy changes. The most commonly taught at this level are standard enthalpy of reaction, standard enthalpy of combustion, and standard enthalpy of formation. Standard enthalpy of reaction refers to the enthalpy change that occurs when reactants react in the molar quantities given in the equation for the reaction, <laughs> under standard conditions. Standard enthalpy of combustion refers to the enthalpy change that occurs when one mole of a substance is completely burnt in oxygen under standard conditions.
standard enthalpy of formation refers to the enthalpy change that occurs when one mole of a substance is formed from its constituent elements under standard conditions. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out other relevant videos in the links given in the description below and visit chemistrystudent.com for free notes and revision materials.